delivery from Amazon, the latest from our daily newsletter at podnews.net. In a renewed fight against Spotify, Amazon has made big changes to Amazon Music Prime, including ad-free podcasts. Included with your Prime account, the service now offers 100 million songs on Shuffle instead of the 2 million it had before, and the largest catalogue of ad-free top podcasts. From The Verge's Decoder podcast, here's Amazon's Steve Boom on why. When we talk to consumers, what do they want? The biggest thing they don't like about podcasts is all the ads. <laughs> Not surprisingly. And so we focused on building a great catalog of stuff that people like to listen to and making that ad free. Some of it's going to come from Wondery, which is a podcast studio that we own. Um, but a lot of it's going to be from big brands that people are listening to outside of uh, Wondery. So we're excited about that. Well, how big of a deal is this really? Buzzsprout's platform stats for September give Amazon Music a 0.7% market share of all podcast downloads. It is, however, the number three podcast platform in Japan, with 24% of the population using it. In other news, Sounder has announced it's to close its podcast hosting platform as it focuses on brand safety and contextual targeting. There are currently 5,425 podcasts hosted on Sounder, according to the Podcast Index, all of whom will need a new home. The company's moving many of their largest creators to Spreaker. Co-host is offering six months free, if you ask. There are seven warnings for the podcast industry from radio, says Tom Webster in this week's Sounds Profitable from Red Circle. Tom shares four of them, including the high number of ads you hear on air and increasingly on podcasts. Sirius XM saw $123 million in revenue from podcasting in quarter 3 22, an increase of 37% year on year and 5.3% of the company's total revenue. In Australia, reflecting the growth of its podcast unit, SBS Radio is to become SBS Audio in 2023. The multilingual public broadcaster also released their podcast download figures and will offer pre-roll and mid-roll advertising. Libsyn's AdvertiseCast reports a rise in average cost per thousand in October to $24.26. The second highest figure on record, it's a 3.3% annual growth or 0.4% monthly. Spotify's Anchor continued to lose market share in October. It's now responsible for 21.9% of all new podcast episodes, a fall of 0.3%. Spotify's Megaphone saw a rise of 0.2%. Soundrise is a new podcast sponsorship company from Market Ingenuity. The company plans to connect advertisers to podcast creators with shared values. Veritonic won an award for its sonic identity for Tostitos. The sonic identity increased brand recall by 38%. There are just 14 active Indigenous podcasts in Canada, says Pod the North, a newsletter looking at Canadian podcasts. And a US public broadcaster is bringing true crime podcasts to toddlers. Ball State PBS previewed a pilot episode of Daycare Detectives about a child's missing purple crayon. It'll launch in January. And in podcast news, Ty asks why. Ty Poole won't rest until he's uncovered the mysteries of the universe, one probing question at a time. In this Webby Award-winning series, the 15-year-old talks to everyone from NASA scientists to stand-up comedians. And it's from CBC Podcasts, and we thank them for their support this month. Better Than Yesterday with Osher Gunsberg has hit 10 million downloads, according to Acast. My podcast has allowed me to make public a part of me that none of my TV jobs allow allowed me to show, said Gunsberg. He started the podcast in 2013. And Transit Unplugged is celebrating its fifth anniversary. The host, Paul Comfort, is launching season six with an interview with Rich Davey, who he, well, he's president of New York City Transit, New York MTA. The show has produced 225 episodes so far. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 